Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. How is everyone doing today? We got another Leicester City career mode episode for you today and we have two episode, two games only in this episode I mean um, because the next episode is a big one. It's, well, it's, you decide if it's big. It's the Capital One Cup final and we are going to do that live obviously as we all do always finals are live but for now we have a big game in the champions league we gotta worry about with psg paris saint germain they got a beautiful stadium man beautiful kit too um but yeah we got a big game champions league we are obviously the champions league holders from last season so we are trying to retain that and we have we've done pretty well in the champions league so far this season so i'm i'm pretty confident obviously i'm beating in league i'm confident that we can beat pretty much any team that comes across us today psg starting off pretty well though getting a few shots on goal is cavani that time testing the keeper on the counter attack however van Ginkle finds son we've got players running down the left son looks for one of them finds fabian shah he finds arnautovic down the left hand side pushes it into the box takes it around tiago silva who comes in with a reckless challenge so reckless like, this guy, he looked like Bruno Alves right there. Who remembered Bruno? I don't even know where Bruno Alves is right now, like, what team he plays for. But that dude was, he was a monster, like, especially when he used to go out for headers. Absolutely reckless. But you know what, again, goal. I'm going I'm to just let you know from now. Jovetic scores this. He puts it in the back of the neck because he doesn't miss penalties for some reason. I don't know what it is. He just doesn't miss penalties. All of them find their way into the back of the net. And you, when he steps up to the spot, you, you, you just expect that he's going to hit the back of the net. When the day comes that he misses a penalty... I think we might we might as well just sell him because that is obviously the end of the world when he misses a penalty. I'm not sure. We might re we might even release him free. We pay to pay to send him away if he misses a penalty because he's clearly losing it. He's losing his touch when he misses a penalty. So what right now we are one 0 up. Just PSG obviously as you can see started a little bit better, but we we would be so we're, we're going to come back at them. Jovetic with a shot that time straight at trap. Decent, easy save. 22 minutes in only, and all this has happened so far. Arnautovic dribbling inside, finds a beautiful pass into Hyung Min's son. 23 minutes in, we have doubled our lead. That is not one, but two away goals in the Champions League against Paris Saint Germain. Now, I mean, I, I, I'm not trying to be overconfident, but I feel like that could possibly be the tie wrapped up already. That's two away goals. That means we have to concede at least, they, well, they have to score at least three goals. To go for into the next round. How likely is that to happen in, without me scoring? I don't know, man. Like, we're just beasts that I can't see that happening. But Jovetic this time, chipping it over the top. Beautiful ball, beautiful touch. And Hyung Min's son again. We're getting inventive now. 30 minutes in, 2 0 up. And we're getting confident, creative, beautiful chances being made. Hyung Min's son just hitting that on the half volley. Maybe if he got clean on, on, a, on a full volley, then it would have hit the target. I don't know. 45 minutes in, we're still attacking. PSG haven't had a chance since their first few. It's played into Mares, side foot, into the bottom corner. 3 0. And let me tell you something. Again, I'm not trying to be overconfident, but I'm going to say we're through because they have to score too many goals to beat us in the next round. And they have to worry about not conceding as well. And if they open up and come at us, we will score. Goals in abundance. Like, that's what I'm expecting at least. But, you know, you can see it. We're playing some beautiful football all over the park. Into the second half. 64 minutes before another chance is created. And it's still us. PSG have to come at us if they want to get something from this game. Mahrez cutting in. Finding Torvan. And he's denied by a beautiful save from Trap down there. We're just throwing everything at PSG. Hyung Min Sun this time with a free kick. Just over the bar from a tight angle. Free kicks from anywhere were looking dangerous. You can see Mid Middlestad right there has come on for this second half. Because I'm feeling confident. I feel like the tie is all but wrapped up already in the first leg. Ericsson there with a little bit of a missed kick. And Van Ginkel. And just look at how quick we carry attack. Look at all the players flying forward there. Shaw plays it through to Hyung Min Sun again. He's got players around him. Hyung Min Sun one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. What's he going to do? Look at that for a finish. Look at that for a finish. So chilled out. Like Fosters in a cooler on a summer's day, but it's being put in the fridge because it's a hot summer's day and we want a cold drink. Forget what I'm saying. Cool finish, cool, calm, and collected. Like he's just jogged up to the keeper, toe poked it past him. Oh, it's just beautiful, man. Like I could watch that all day. And just, oh, keeper didn't stand a chance. Like he might as well have just rolled it through his legs, if I'm honest with you. You might as well have just. It's embarrassing. But 4 0, 83 minutes. 4-0, Van der Vaart has found his way into the pitch now, skipping around players, playing it through, Jeffrey Schlupp inside the box, and it's 5, 
5-0 away from home. That's five away goals. We might as well call it 10-0. So we're 10-0 up against PSG in the Champions League. And to be honest with you, at this point, I was thinking this, like, especially looking at this goal, like, he, that, that shot, I don't know what, that shot just looked so powerful. I'm starting to feel like I'm breaking the game. So after this game, I decided, you know what, let me adjust the sliders a little bit more. And I think i done, what did I do? I think I put the acceleration and sprint speed up even a little bit more. So I think at this point, the acceleration and sprint speed is around 54. Mine's still 50. I, I think I changed things like um, the touch error. And I put it up. Um... Which is, I don't know, I don't really want to do it because their, their first touch is already more or less flawless. So to do stuff like that, I can't remember what I put up, but let's just say I put up their sliders a little bit more again. So we're playing on like legendary times four, let's call it. So in this game against West Bromwich Albion, the sliders were adjusted. We're probably still going to smash them again, but hey, I'm, I'm trying to make this game a little bit more difficult for myself. But Lamella can still do things like that. Like there is no sliders that we can put up. That can stop something as beautiful as that. Well, we could put up their goalkeeping ability, but that's just that's just cheating for them. Like, there's making them better, and then there's cheating for them. But look at this goal. One touch pushes it out of his feet. Finesse. Oh, it's lovely. That's my first finesse goal. I remember I was talking to I think it was my brother a few days before this, and I was saying I've not scored a finesse shot from outside the box in this FIFA. And then we stepped up and we done it straight after. Lamella, beautiful goal. He's just on form right now. This guy. He, he's on form, he's scoring, he's assisting, he's getting man of the match here, there, wherever. And he just can't be stopped. But West Brom taking a short free kick. And long story short, um, they've just given it straight to Arnautovic. He could have squared it to Jovetic, which I probably should have. But I felt like Arnautovic deserved a goal. He's been playing well, not been scoring too many recently. But look, what, like, what, is, what kind of panicking is that? That's panic stations activated on all fronts. Passed it straight to Arnautovic. And the Austrian side footed it into the back of the net like if the keeper saved that I probably would have been pissed like he threw the ball away straight to us and still saved the shot Arnautovic gets 17th for the season 2-0 up and the sliders ain't looking like they made too much of a difference but hey the CPU's at least creating a few chances now Ali Arsia tall guy Ali Arsia always seems to play well against us now that we've sold him to West Brom I don't know why we're like West Brom though this guy is actually a good player and West Brom of all teams he went to. But I guess we sold him to them. So it doesn't really make a difference what he wanted. But Jovetic right there. 60 minutes into the game. Smashes us into a 3-0 lead. And still the sliders have changed. But we're still we're still smashing teams. And I don't want to put the CPU sliders up too much. Because then the game's just going to get ridiculous. Like I'm, I might be in a foot race with, with Jeffrey Schlupp against Mertesacker. And Mertesacker will outrun Jeffrey Schlupp. Like I don't want it to be that ridiculous. But... Ali Arsian again, one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. And like I said, this guy just always seems to step up against us. He has scored really. It's so annoying that he just keeps scoring against us. It's like he's trying to rub it in my face. Like he he uh, I sold him and he he keeps scoring against us. But guess what? I'm the manager of Germany, bitch. You ain't ever getting a call. I mean, I, I'm kidding. I might even figure I think about calling him up because he was a good player when we had him, but I just felt like 30 million was way too much to turn down for Tolga Ali Arsian. But 3-1 up, still coming at West Brom with more chances. Lamella obviously scored that finesse shot earlier in the first half. He tried to do it again, keep going away with it this time. For 83 minutes into the game, Grenier playing it into Mares. He's got Sun to his right. He finds him in Sun. He digs it out his feet, and Foster makes a decent save. So kind of, kind of making up for the the goal he gave away, but not really because it was only one nil at that point. If they stayed in it at 1-0, maybe they could have got signed out of the game. But they didn't. They got defeated. 3-1 was the final score. We walked out there with all three points. Again, Marco Arnautovic, man of the match. A goal, an assist, a key pass. Back into training. We're going to show you the league table. Let you see what things are looking like. At this point, the league table isn't even really important. Like We've won the league. All that matters... It's keeping that unbeaten streak going. Here's the top scorers of this season. Still looking amazing. Jovetic, Arnautovic, Mara's up there. You can see Lamella's even there with seven. It's, it's beautiful, man. We just got all kinds of players in the top scoring charts. Also, Lewis Holtby. Assisting charts is even more crazy. Look, Holtby, Lamella, Mara's, Jovetic, Arnautovic. Look how many players we got on the assist. We're just scoring goals in bags. You've got Sun down there towards the bottom as well. And that's what the table looks like. I'm going to leave you to take a quick look at that. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, I don't know, do something about it. Have a nice day. Bye.